Hey guys, Stephen Kinsler at FSM here and we are back with 365 results. We're on the topic of the four C's and remember 365 is all about getting you long term sustainable health and performance for any sport and just getting you the right information you need to achieve your goals. So we've already covered in the four C's, commitment, consistency and now we're on coaching. Now coaching is a big thing and that's why it's in our four C's and we're very adamant about having a coach. Our coaches get coached. Uh, I pay people to coach me depending on my goals in the year. Uh, coaching is vital. And there is people out there, it's a very small percent of people that don't need a coach and can keep training and get consistent, consistent results in the development of the program. Most people that train on their own just are plodding along in the same program and tend to see very little results, but it's just become this automated thing that they do. They still have, they must still have the gut. Um, and they're just happy getting monotone uh, results, just going nowhere, and just, yeah, they, they get a sweat on, they feel great. Uh, unfortunately, that's bullshit in my opinion. Um, your program should always, always be uh, progressing. Uh, no matter your age, your gender, um, you should be able to progress in your program and see consistent um, progressions. Again, and this is something we're gonna go through when we get to programming. But when it comes to coaching, um, there's three things that I feel that you should do if you're looking for any coach. Now, we've got some amazing coaches in this country, and I think you should uh, look out for them and uh, follow them on Facebook or Instagram and check out their website. The number one thing is that you need to check out someone's website. So if you're going to invest in someone, check out their website. Go on their page, check out what the company stands for, what the coach's philosophy is, and if that lines up with what your goals are and what you want to achieve, that's perfect. If you are someone that wants to be just healthier for your family, uh, just lose a bit of weight, feel good, look good, naked, all that stuff, and you're on a website that's just talking about creating athletes, building monsters and slamming bars, probably not for you. If you're the athlete who needs the coach to grind them down, build them up, and just put all their focus and energy into just literally strict, strict, strict training, then the local Zumba class coach or trainer or Pilates instructor is probably not for you. So check that out. Second thing you do is you do, you check out their social media. You see what they're posting. Um, there's a lot of people out there that post some uh, aggressive stuff, negative stuff. Again, you don't want people that are gonna be a bad environment for you. You want a positive environment. And again, we'll get that to when we come to community. Um, so once you check all that out, the third thing you do is you go and you contact them, whether through email or uh, through social media, or you give them a phone call, speak to the coach. So if you get a salesperson or a receptionist on the phone, try and get through to a coach or trainer because they're going to have more experience um, with what you want and how to get you there. Nine times out of ten in a kind of a crossfit style um, or a, a small group training facility, whoever answers the phone is generally one of the trainers there as well. So you're, you're, you're always gonna be in good hands. But do quiz them, ask them to meet up, have a coffee, sit down and have a chat. Now if that person can make sense to you that what they train and what they teach is in line with your goals, then sign up. Now, the investment here, it all comes down to money. Do you have the money? Now, most people say they don't have the money or a lot of trainers are expensive. A lot of trainers can be expensive, a lot of trainers can be um, cheap. The one thing I do advise is that don't go cheap. If you go cheap, you're gonna get a shit service, okay? The reason is, is if you pay, say, 20, 20 euros for personal training, you are, the, the coach undervalues themselves, number one. And then, other than that, the service is gonna be less because you're not getting paid uh, a proper wage. Um, if you're paying, between 100 to 200 euros per month, um, and people might say that's expensive. It's not really, if you, in the grand scheme of things, it's not. It's like if you are having coffees every day, and you're, you drink once a week, and you have a takeaway and stuff like that, you take one, one and a half week, two weeks off at all that, and eat clean and healthy, which will help you get your results, by the way, uh, you'll have the money to afford your coach for a month. And that's why, and it's, it's investing in you. Like you're paying that coach money, but that's an investment back to you because that coach is gonna give you the results. And then you can go into the higher bracket of people that charge even bigger money. But again, nine times out of 10, if there is that 1%, that one that is still shit, but charges a lot of money. But nine times out of 10, you're paying for a service that hands down is gonna get you results. But here's the thing about the coaching. 
There's a lot, as I said, a lot of great coaches now. If you're not willing to put the work in, what can the coach do? Like we're here every day, our, our, our clients come in, we coach the hell out of them and all we want is results. We want results. We are more concerned about getting results from our members in all our programs than taking their money every month. Obviously that's a factor, running a company has to make money to pay its bills, pay the staff and everything along those lines. But we are more invested in getting results than just having a turnover. And that's another thing that you should be looking for with coaching. But guys, hands down, if you want real results, you gotta invest in a coach. There's tons of people out there. And it's not, I'll say the last thing, it's not just someone that coaches you for an hour and that's the last you hear them until next week or the next time you come in. It's someone that is in contact with you with either true calls, emails, they're willing to talk to you before and after class, uh, social media interaction, and they're, they're just checking in on you and making sure that you are getting what you want. And if you're missing for a week or two, they're on your case, okay? They're not just letting you swan off there because they know that your money's coming in through the bank, bank draft every month. So guys, when it comes to coaching, three things, website, social media, make the contact. If it makes sense, sign up with them, invest in a coach. It'll be one of the best things you've ever did. Guys, have a great day, better week, and an awesome month.